Don't you dare. Don't. <laughs> Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Live with uh, Rick and Tyler. Um, we are, uh, this episode is just, uh, it's kind of the what's next episode where we don't have um, a specific topic that we're going to get into. We do have some um, news to share with everybody and kind of just talk about uh, what's, uh, what's going on and what's coming up um, type of stuff. This is uh, crazy. It's been crazy. We have had a lot of fun with you guys over the last uh, couple of times we've done this. Uh, last time we were about an hour yeah. or so long. Talking. So many questions. So many Bible yeah. questions, a yeah. lot that we actually didn't get to. Um, we still are thinking about maybe a future um, episode where we'll talk uh, about more Bible stuff and answer more questions if we can. Uh, we did do some stuff on the church. We did some personal stuff, and uh, we are opening our first first time trying this out. We talked yeah. about uh, uh, really just a, a hodgepodge of things, right? I mean, it, there was no rhyme or reason to what we were doing. Um, so uh, we are in this uh, episode or in this time together. We're going to talk about what's next, uh, what May looks like. So some news coming out of that as. As we've been thinking about stay-at-home quarantine, mm-hmm. um, since we don't really have a, a topic we're going to get into, we thought, well, let's go back in and talk about how we're still handling this stay-at-home or quarantine. Oh, Things are starting to open back up. People yeah. are being able to go back to work in some capacity, some limited form. Um, so we're starting to see more of that easing of restrictions, I guess, the phasing in, um, which will also have an impact on us as a church. But... Um, but for a lot of people, they're maybe still home, still, you know, if they're not needing to go out to exercise or go to get stuff from the store, I guess most people are still at home if they're not at work, right? right? So when you're home, one of the things that you do a lot, snack, Oh, right? I mean, mm. any anybody, I'm sure we could probably have some people, and we're, we are going to take questions this uh, <laughs> I don't know what Tom was just doing. We He's are going to take on his chest. Uh, like right, he's if King we Kong. could flip the camera around and everybody could have seen what Tom just did, uh, we are taking questions. So if you guys have some questions, throw them out at us. But I've been thinking about snacking, mm-hmm. and so much so that when we think about snacks, this I saw this online, and it and I've actually this has been something I've seen before, but it just made a lot of made a lot of sense to share with everybody. It's like it says, I want to listen to you, but I'm thinking about snacks. I mean, I wonder how many people have had that happen in their homes <laughs> as maybe their spouse or their kids or somebody is trying to talk to them or tell them something. And they're like, I really want to listen to you. But all I'm thinking about right now is the snacks in the pantry or in the kitchen. Mm. Do you have this problem? Uh, I mean, I don't. Let me tell I the think... truth. You're on a church uh, you know, I, video. I'm thing. pretty sure this is just a constant state of mind for Erica. <laughs> Um, wow, I don't you're have gonna you're gonna say this is Erica's problem. Well, I snack, but I I can multitask. That <laughs> I, I think she. Oh uh, yeah, so I you're better that, at this than the rest. I think of she us. chooses to ignore me <laughs> to think about snacks, like just blatantly. It, I don't think it's accidental. I think she blatantly shuts out what I'm saying because she wants to think about snacks because they're more pleasant than what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's, I don't even think I want. I think the first part you take that off. It's like I I, I tried to listen. That's not a desire. You, you don't want to listen when you're thinking about snacks. Yeah. You're just yeah. thinking about snacks. But I feel like you're thinking about snacks all the time. Usually there's a part yeah. in the back of my head that's I mean, always... are you, you're the kind of guy, though, that, that wakes up thinking about what breakfast is. And before you're done eating breakfast, are you thinking about what you're eating for lunch? And before lunch is over, are you thinking about what I'm, the snack is before dinner and what I'm dinner is? I'm a little is? more impulsive, really. It's, I, I don't think about it until I get hungry, and then it's like something pops in my head. I'm like, I, I need to eat that. And so it's very... Okay. It becomes, like once a, an idea pops in my head... I'm like all consumed by it. Gotcha. Uh, but like, so like the other day, this was like, oh, she'll be like, hey, maybe we'll get pizza after church on Sunday. I'm like, okay, cool. And then like, that's all you can think about. I can't think about anything but pizza. She's like, oh, I don't want to do pizza. And I'm like, no, no. no we're we said pizza. pizza. My heart is set on pizza. I'm doing pizza. Nothing, anything besides pizza, I will throw up. So what, did, pizza. what did you eventually get? A uh, sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get the pizza. No. Was it a pizza sandwich? No. <laughs> had none of the elements of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so I usually lose those, but if no, you were gonna get pizza, where would you get it from? What's your pizza of choice? Mm, I think around here, Marcos. Just for, Marcos, yeah, for okay. the delivery and stuff. I'm not a Papa John's guy. Not no Papa John's. A, yeah, I don't like the sweet sauce. Okay, I think that tomato sauce should have some, some as- acidic. Yeah, I don't like the sweetness of the sauce. I, I'm not against people who prefer Papa John's. That's great. That's, That's good. Preference. They walk that back. That's yeah, good. It's just it's not my it, preference. I I don't particularly enjoy it. Okay, you say we have a question. 
Oh. <laughs> you have a question? Yeah, why not Gino's? Why not Gino's or some type of Italian house, pizzeria? Oh, so you're, 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 you're like a, a pizza that's close by. If a pizza that I'm going to Tom, get. Tom yeah. is a Italian. You yeah. know, if you don't eat it. Ita- Marcos is. No, not my. Yeah. Marcos is not like my favorite pizza place ever. Gotcha. It's my favorite accessible pizza place that will deliver to our house. Gotcha. Like, so you're just going for convenience. At I this point. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. okay. They're, they're How much pizza. pizza have you had during the quarantine stay at home? Less than you think. But you know what? I've eaten so much. I was, of? Gonna, I was getting ready to ask. Bread. Okay. I've been on this weird. Like yes. <laughs> like, you like, just open so a loaf of bread yes. and eat it. <laughs> yes. Do you not have anything else in your house? <laughs> I don't understand. I've just been craving bread for the last like two months. Yes, I bought like forty f- French baguettes uh, <laughs> since this 40? thing started. <laughs> Like I eat like a half a loaf of bread at each meal, in addition where, to the meal. I don't meal. know where to go. With I you don't and your, know what happened. Just all of a sudden, problem. I started craving bread, and I cannot explain it. But I'm just like, it's I just a, want to eat bread all the time. A weird quarantine craving. But Publix has pretzel rolls. Yeah, which are delightful. Have you never had a pretzel roll before? But just in a bag that you can buy like four at a time, <laughs> and then just eat a, a pretzel roll. So you just go no. in the kitchen and get a big old piece of bread and just sit down and eat it. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's happening. That's the that's the craziest <laughs> thing. There's absolutely no way I would have, if I would have said, "Hey, man, what's this been the snack of choice during quarantine?" Bread, would unadulterated have been, bread, yeah, bread again wouldn't have been up there. That's yeah, I know it's weird. I'm like, like why am I craving this? I can't stop eating. I wonder what. Loaf of I wonder bread. what those who watch this. I wonder what their snack of choice has been. Mm. Has it changed from maybe the snack that they would eat if we weren't in a stay at home? You know, pandemic. Like, do you think they went healthier? Well, I don't know. Like, That's what I wonder. Like, I, I don't. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm I feel gonna like stuck like this. Everybody so. was. If we're in this kind of f- time of flux. Or so we are. We choosing things different, or are we mm-hmm. kind of maintaining some stat, some sort of normalcy, status quo? Or we're going like I'm going to indulge because I can't do anything else. Or so I'm going to indulge comfort myself. You know, with the, the thing that when this M&Ms all started, you you heard a lot of people talk. There's two things that's going to come out of this. You're either going to get fat or fit. Which one is it going to be? You know, and so I've actually stood right on the same line. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that's a great thing um, yeah. to stay even <laughs> did more running right which is the worst People, um i don't understand running so along with it. snacking uh-huh. and usually snacking in front of a television watching mm-hmm. some type of mm-hmm. show binging or um you know just really trying to maybe even disconnect from all the the craziness that's that's happening um what what has been your show well, we've been we started with we've been doing Empire a lot. Uh, That's right. But then we talked we went about that to, in the first episode. We've been doing the uh, the Masked Singer, the Masked Singer, which okay. is a bizarre show. Yeah, it's and like it's, celebrities dressed yeah, up and in their weird singing, masks, right? and it's just yeah. the, the show is so weird. <laughs> but it's like you can't once you start it, you're like you can't look away, and you're like, I wonder who, which celebrity that I may or may not actually even know who they are right. is behind this banana costume. Yeah, and. It's, it's this seems weird for you intriguing. to watch that. Yeah. I, it's not something I would yeah. normally get into. My wife's really into music things, and so okay. Well, I mean, sometimes you put into it, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna like once stuff. I get in it, I'm in it. You know, it's like it made me a, think about this. Um, this is a question asked on a other show. Oh gosh, you are quarantined with the cast from the last show you watched. Who, so it's going to be the mass singer. The cast of so it's gonna be a bunch of people bunch in costumes, like, but, but then you don't even really know who they are. <laughs> Half of them are food shaped. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be with a bunch Great. of people, pretty famous people in some yeah. type of costume. Wow, yeah. that's, uh, that's unfortunate. That's I mean, really, very unfortunate. If I had known that was coming up, I would have watched a couple minutes of something else. <laughs> uh, it's just you know, there's so many articles, there's so many people out there um, that are. You're talking about shows that they're getting into that they probably would have never gotten into or, or shows that they didn't even know were out there that they have found that, that they're liking. And all the different streaming services, I mean, there's some um, – everybody – I mean, the number of users that have jumped on the streaming services have been, you know, yeah. a, a good, lot. Good time so to own a streaming a service. Yeah, right. Yeah. So just made me think. I wonder, you know, when you think about – there's probably – I would say there's probably uh, you know four or five that most people are 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 doing. What's yeah. the the tiger, the tiger king, tiger king? It seems <laughs> like that you see a yeah. lot about that. So oh, that's everywhere. That's that came out. That was one of those shows that probably would have flown under the radar if it hadn't been for everything happening. Yeah, just yeah, the perfect yeah. Because everybody's kind of forced inside, yeah. and so um, looking for something you know wildly entertaining to watch. And from what I I haven't watched it, but from what I hear, everybody um, talks 
um, a lot about it. So yep. pretty crazy. Um, so anyways, so crazy times, just some fun questions. Yep. Thought we'd start with that. We do have an update. Um, we are, <clears throat> we are hoping, um, we had a little, uh, I had a little, I had an opportunity yesterday to have a jump onto a video call with pastors across our state and, um, with the governor, um, McMaster and to hear, some clarity on houses of worship looking to reopen and to right. uh, join, you know, in worship again and some some uh, protocols, procedures, some stuff like that. And so um, after that, we've started to formulate a plan. And the good news is, and good news for those who might be tuning in, that we'll be sharing um, with you guys today and then, you know, in an upcoming email blast That's and good. stuff, is that we are hoping, we are hope-filled to be back together by May 31st. Sunday, May 31st is the date, the Sunday, yeah, the Sunday Finally. that we have uh, kind of put in place as our target date to gather again. Now, with that, it will not look like a normal gathering did prior to the pandemic, but it will have, you know, uh, we will have the ability to come back together just with some limited capacity and some restrictions and a lot more details with that, a lot to do for our staff to prepare and to get ready for that, um, things that we need to put in place, some stuff that we need to coordinate. Um, so a lot more details coming to the church um, on what that looks like. And again, we're targeting May 31st. If if everything goes in the plan, the strategic plan that we've kind of put together, then we'll be back um, in some in, in a limited form on May 31st, um, and we're hoping for that. So we're inviting you to pray with us yeah. uh, as we pray every day, um, and as we get to work on on getting everything ready for you guys to come back and for us to join together. We look forward to that day. We're excited about that day. So a lot more details to come yeah. as we go through the month of May, which it's crazy that it's already here, right? Right. I mean, <laughs> we're we're. Uh, we're already into May. It just it's just crazy how fast it moves. It's it's speeding up more and more so. <laughs> so um, I saw a guy, a picture of a guy who had uh, he went to uh, it looked like it was a Costco with a hat that had little slow, long pool noodles on them. And he had one going in each direction. So I feel like maybe we get a hat like, like that six for everybody. feet, yeah. so that no one could get. Yeah, like, like, just, this we, is the distance. Everybody gets this. Like if your noodles touching someone else's noodle, you are too close. Um, <laughs> We can so get we're one of those building noodle hats for everybody. So if you're wondering how church will be different, <laughs> we're all getting noodle hats. Noodle hats, six <laughs> feet noodle hats. Well, I mean that's one but way. They could be it. three feet per person. That way, <laughs> if your noodles, if your noodles touches, then you know. You're, oh, okay, yeah. so okay, makes sense. Each, okay, yeah. got it, got it. <laughs> we hadn't talked about that, so that's a new, it's a, a new change, new we, change. We made an executive decision. Should be cool. Should be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck recovering from that. Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't ready for the, the noodle the noodle hat but i, I i'm I actually it was a really good idea i'm, I'm actually starting to like it good. at least we need to make at least one maybe. right yeah? yeah um so with may starting uh starts uh tomorrow right may 1st is tomorrow yeah um we uh released um an email that had may content so um if you didn't get the email, uh, what we're doing starting kind of like with uh, April's content schedule, we have a weekly content schedule for May. Um, as as we go through May, church up on Sundays up until the 31st will still be live online at 10 a.m. Uh, Mondays will be Monday Miracles Live, just like we have been through April. Tuesdays will be live devotionals, this time at 11 a.m. Um, instead Back of 10. Hour, yeah. yeah, that's that's the one change that we made. Wednesdays, live worship again at 6. Thursdays will be live with, and it might be live with Rick and Tyler. It might be live with Rick and a special guest. It might be live with Tyler and a special guest. One way or another, you're going to get me or Tyler yep. um, and then a special guest, and that'll be and a various o'clock. degree of special guest, yeah. <laughs> depending on... Three o'clock right is. here, um, like we're doing right now. Um, and then on Fridays, so in April, we had our... Um, our 30-day uh, challenge. 30-day yeah. challenge, yeah. Thank you. Yep. And uh, this month, we're kicking off tomorrow. We will release uh, the May Discipleship Challenge. So it's a week-long type of Bible right. read study. Um, and then little challenge there for the week. And every Friday, we'll release the next week. And so that content will drop, the first week will drop tomorrow. And so it's all about discipleship and becoming um, and, and growing in our disciple of Christ. Um, so that'll be on the website. Uh, everything else will be on Facebook except for 
uh, Sundays and Mondays. Uh, we'll live stream and uh, Facebook uh, Monday Miracles and Church Live. And we're also, we released our YouTube channel. So we yes. got our YouTube channel up and running. Now we're up in um, the big leagues. Right. And so we are moving content over, producing and putting content onto the YouTube channel. So if you didn't get that link, you can go out and search for Carolina Force Community Church on YouTube. and uh, Like and subscribe. <clears throat> yep. And so content is showing up on YouTube. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Do you have any comments or questions? No? I was wondering after the, the question that came in last time is that if we competed as to which of us was the the better pastor, if people were going to send in their suggestions as to which one they thought. <coughs> uh, that's a shame. It's <laughs> <laughs> hoping to take a poll. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I don't want a poll. <laughs> yeah. Do not submit those answers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, um, so with, uh, that's what's coming in May leading us up to our 31st, which is our target date to gather again, uh, again, a lot more information coming with, there will be some education, there'll be some training and, um, some direction for everybody as we come back together. Uh, this Sunday, as we come into the first Sunday of the month is communion Sunday. And so just as a reminder, we will take communion together, um, with church service. So make sure you grab your elements, bread and juice so we can have that um, together um, during church just a, again a reminder and then this last one because Tom is our producer <clears throat> we'll put this in here yeah, yeah so uh, um, Unite which is our student ministries they are going virtual in May so they'll have a virtual service on May 6th at 6 p.m. and then students can tune in to the Facebook page of the church or the student ministries Facebook page or YouTube pages so just so a couple reminders. We know we sent this out in an email um, yesterday. Just wanted to remind you guys again as you join us here. And um, uh, we're excited. Uh, I wish I had some more details to tell you about the 31st, but we are um, still working and planning and preparing and, and putting all that stuff together. But there will be more details yeah. in the next uh in the next week or so. Yeah, the main thing that we want to make sure we're doing with that is make sure that everything that we do with that is designed to keep you safe so that you can worship comfortably together uh, in an environment that is as, I guess, you never risk-free, but you, the risk is mitigated as much as yeah, possible. Yeah, absolutely. But make sure we're doing everything within our power to make sure everybody that's here uh, can be here safely without concern. And so that's right. a lot of the organization development we're doing with facility, with spacing, with all that kind of stuff. So we're going yeah. to make, try to make sure that we've thought through all of it to ensure that there's nothing that we overlook right. uh, that right. could cause unnecessary risk to your health. Yeah. So, I mean, again, the the idea is we, we want to be, a, you know, abundantly cautious on how we do this. We want to still follow the, the protocols that have been given to right. us by – the authorities as far as social distancing and all that goes on capacity limits and stuff. And so they're, they're, well, we're, we got to put some things in place for us to do this, but we are excited about having, you know, the ability to come back together, even if it is, you know, in a, in a, in a different format, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, by the end of the summer, we'll kind of get to gather again, like normal, like somewhat normal. <laughs> yeah. Will things ever be normal? I guess. I mean, after this thing is over and I don't even know if over is the right way to say it, but will things ever be what we think is, I mean, it just seems like there's just this new normal. Like I, yeah. the, the policies, the, the hygiene policies, the sanitation, you know, sanitizing all that stuff from businesses to restaurants to, churches to you know it just seems like a lot of that stuff will continue to be in play yeah i mean i think things will be different uh to a degree i mean we should be washing our hands anyways right. but there's also a point where you kind of you you know if you you follow the animal farm method of society it'll change for a bit and then it'll become more and more gravitate towards kind of what it was what it was something to yeah think so. but i think there's the, the component i think would be when i say normal i mean like you're not afraid to give someone a hug or a yeah. handshake or a high five. Right. Like right. those those things, I think, hopefully, yeah. uh, by the end of summer, we'll come back. Cause yeah, for those yeah. of us who are your extroverts that like human contact. Um, really? Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go back to that. You're gonna you're gonna be like free hugs everywhere. I mean, not like not while it's unsafe to do so, <laughs> but, but when like, when you can, yeah, like you're hugging everybody. So yeah, everybody I'll probably should be ready. Start randomly hugging some strangers. And be randomly like, you hugging. Get a, I'm gonna be the you Oprah hug, of hugs. You yeah. get a hug. Everybody yeah, gets gonna, a hug. Just walk past me. See what happens. Excited. We we'll get you a shirt. <laughs> I have so many pent up hugs to give. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hug you. You better be okay with that or yeah. something like that, right? Prepare so, yourself. Yeah, hugs are coming. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's getting weird. So, <laughs> I know, also, probably... if someone at home wants to make a giant black sheet that Rick and I can burst out of, this is a dream of mine, <laughs> being able to uh, just <laughs> pop through paper like that. Um, I would like to see you do that. <laughs> yeah. I think we should both do it at the same time. Yeah, absolutely. And then do it with a really cheery expression. <laughs> so if somebody wants to make that dream come true by making like a 12 foot by 12 foot banner of solid black that we can break through. Yeah. That could be a good Sunday morning good. opener. You know, we just drape, have some people pull it on those tight on the side of the stage and we just pop out. Yeah. I'm it, be, I'm be to that. <laughs> you, you've definitely taken live of Rick and Tyler to a place <laughs> I wasn't prepared to go. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> <laughs> you ate too many Skittles before we started. Yeah, I did. Have well, some uh, we'll wrap it up. Thank you guys for uh, joining us again. We're uh, more details to come, so be checking uh, on uh, your email uh, up out on the church's Facebook, all the social media pages. We'll definitely keep you informed as we move towards May thirty first of coming back together. So uh, we'll uh, see you Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. <laughs>